Okay, another finishing skill that you'll need. Many times those pushers, the, the slice and dicers, they're very good at lobbing over the backhand side. Now the high backhand volley or backhand overhead is very difficult shot. First of all, the grip you want is continental. That's going to allow you to angle the ball off to the side and also enable you to really snap your forearm and your wrist. Okay, one of the keys to this shot when you get that that high backhand is to pull the racket down with your non-hitting hand. So my non-hitting hand is pulling the racket down and I'm creating tension here in my upper back, my upper arm, so that I can snap it when I go to hit the shot. I can, if I'm pulling down here and I snap it up to hit the shot. Again, you don't want to be too tight on this shot. You want to be a little loose so that you can generate that racket speed. So, key point is pull down with the left hand and just snap the forearm and wrist up. If you have a continental grip, which is basically, you know, like the hammer grip, like you're hammering a nail in, the index knuckle and the heel of the hand are on bevel number two, the small bevel. So, that would be a continental grip right there. Okay, let me demonstrate a few. Okay, I'm just gonna demonstrate a few here. Remember, two key points. Pull down with the non-hitting hand and then snap it up with the forearm and wrist. Here we go. Okay, at this point, the non-hitting hand is pulling down on the racket slightly to create that tension in the upper back, the upper arm. This way I can really snap it up with the forearm and wrist at contact. Okay, here's that same shot from a little different angle. Remember that continental grip, that hammer grip, is great for angling the ball off cross court. So I'm gonna pull down with the non-hitting hand and snap it up cross court. Here we go. Okay, here again, it's clear to see how much I'm pulling down with that non-hitting hand. This really lets you snap it up. Okay, here at the moment of contact, I've got a continental grip. This allows you to create those cross-court angles. Okay, Brian's working on that high backhand. Move in a little bit, Brian. Okay, here we go. Okay, looking good. That's it, try and get a little more angle. Okay, right here, Brian's doing a nice job of pulling that racket head down with the non-hitting hand.
Very good, Brian. He picked that up fast. <laughs> good job. Very good, man. That was a good job.